Sunday in the Attic number no. 5 by the Colombian artist Omar Rayo is a feat of Trump Loy illusion. Thick bands, each composed of black and white stripes, flow before and behind one another, like the structure of a basket or the warp and weft of a loom. Rayo cleverly emphasizes the points of intersection by adding deep black shadows composed of delicate stippling. Not only does this technique contribute to the sensation that the depicted ribbons invade the space of the viewer, but it adds a rough texture that smartly contrasts with the mechanistic sleekness and clarity of the lines. Within the New York context, Rayo's artwork resonated with a recent reconceptualization of painting that emphasized crisp, impersonal forms over to the subjective approach of abstract expressionism. While this aesthetic is likewise observed in the work of his New York-based compatriots, Edgar Negret and Eduardo Ramirez Villamizar, Rayo's paintings might also be productively compared with Frank Stella's linear black paintings from the 1950s. In 1964, Stella described the ambition for his paintings. All I want anyone to get out of my works, and all I will ever get out of them, is the fact that you can see the whole idea without any confusion. What you see is what you see. For Omar Rayo, his paintings are anything but. They revel in confusion despite sharing an economy of means. Described by art historian Marta Trava as the only Colombian kinetic artist, Rayo deployed the serial repetition of black and white lines to create powerful, illusory, optical ambiguities. Harkening back to Marcel Duchamp's anemic cinema and paralleling the black and white pinstripes of his contemporary Jesus Rafael Soto, Rayo's restrained aesthetic cultivates powerful and engaging works of art where the act of perception is just as important as the composition.